Welcome to Thai Win News Not Today Headlines. Commanding coaches and athletes for outstanding achievements at SEA Games 32 and 2023 Muay Gwen Championships. Turning on road and traffic safety for students. Speeding up progress of pauses in Songo City. Firstly, look at some of the news. The youth unions, in cooperation with Taiwan City Police, Taiwan Imports Export Joys Dog Companies, organize a learning program with the team Traffic Safety for Students and Propagate Accident Prevention and Rescues at Nguyen Hue Primary School. As a program, teachers and students have been informed about security and order situation and traffic safety since the beginning of the years until now. Instructing us how to handle situations and behave beautifully when participating in traffic. Disseminating rules to ensure safety, traffic accident prevention and rescues, exchange and answer questions about road traffic law. For the high school graduation exam in 2023, Taiwan's province is expected to have over 16,000 candidates, an increase of over 1,200 candidates compared to the last year. The Department of Education and Training has planned to organize 31 examination sites with over 600 rooms, mobilizing nearly 3,000 officials for the exam. Previously, the Department of Education and Training coordinated with the provincial police to select place for printing exam questions and marking. At the same time, coordinates with functional units to install civilian cameras. To deal with the extreme hot weather, the Department of Education and Training directs educational institutions to ensure safety for all officials, teachers, employees, students, and candidates during the examination period. On May 20, the youth unions of Gang Tap Joyce Stock Companies held the Humanitarian Blood Donation Day 2023 with the message Every Drop of Blood, One Heart. The festival attracted the participation of over 400 union members and young people from a flexible plenty. This is an annual activity of the company Youth Unions with the design to support medical facilities to alleviate difficulties in the face of sorted blood shock for the patient treatment. The festival collected nearly 350 units of blood. Ms. Nguyen Thanh Hải, Secretary of the Province of Party Committee, has attended and delivered a speech at the meeting to commend coaches and athletes for outstanding achievements at SEA Games 32 and the 2023 Muay Gwen Championships. Mr. Chik Minh Hung, Chairman of the Province of People's Committee, Raven Departments and Setters and the coaches and athletes attended the meeting. SEA Games 32 was held in Phnom Penh, Cambodia from May 5th to 17th. Attending this event, Taiwan's province has nine officials athletes, two coaches committing in 32 events in Fujitsu, Kun Khmer, both racing, women's football. Taiwan's athletes have overcome many strong athletes in the region, bringing glory to their home countries. Most of them have shown one's medal. With the Vietnamese sports delegations participating in the SEA Games 32 and the 2023 Moe World Championships, the athletes of Taiwan province have won excellent achievements, contributing to the overall achievements of the Vietnam sports delegation, with six gold medals, four bronze medals, and one gold medals, one bronze medals at the Moe World Championship in 2023. Speaking of the meeting, the six reads of the provincial party committees congratulated the outstanding achievements of the coaches and athletes of Taiwan's province. Six affirmed just the achievement of Taiwan's sport at the SEA Games 32 and the Maya World Championships are noble and worthy rewards for the great efforts of Taiwan coaches and athletes. As the programs, nine athletes and six coaches getting high achievement at SEA Games 32, Two athletes and one coach getting high achievement at 2023's Mayor World Championships received the certificate of merit from the chairman of the Provincial People Committee. The chairman of the Provincial Confederation of Labor also presented certificates of merit to them. On these occasions, Mobifone Taiwan's Bubu Blue Groups, TNT Groups, Taiwan's Provincial Motor Clubs also awarded these athletes and coaches. 
Recently, the Standing Board of Song Kong City Party Committee held a meeting in order to speed up the progress of major projects in the area. Mr. Dr. Sun Chung, Standing Vice Chairman of Thai Nguyen Province the People's Committee, attended and directed. At the conference, the delegate listened to reports on progress of major projects, compensation and side grants from the beginning of the year 2022 to now. Song Kong is implementing certified investment projects with non-state parties capital source, 74 public investment projects. The conference also listened to a report on the implementation of transition projects, the city budget collection project in 2023, and the progress of key projects including Song Kong, New Kong Tourism Road, and residential area. Functional areas on both sides of the Song Kong New Coke Tourism Road. The issues presenting during the conference were discussed by the delegates. The standing committees of the city party committees requested the people committee of Sung Kong cities to urgently review and adjust the city master plan to 2040s to ensure synchronization in lines with the development trends and promote advance to facilitate the long term development of the city. Joining has to go the grow up for a Thái Nguyên good at English, Trung Vương Primary School, Thái Nguyên City, has had many concrete and practical activities. At the semi-final rounds of the Vietnam Children's Playgrounds, reaching out to the world, a useful playground that inspires and motivates children across the country to learn English. Thái Nguyên has five teams entering the national semi-final rounds of which Ching Vương Primary School had two teams. This is an honor and pride that not all schools have. The school has created favorable conditions for students to learn English during class time, as well as extracurricular activities, and encourage students to speak English anytime, anywhere. Such specific activities have created conditions for students to develop skills of listening, speaking, reading, writing, and communicating in English. At the same time, helping them have the opportunity to experience improved knowledge, thinking abilities, quick reflex, contribute to promoting the innovation of teaching methods, and encouraging students to learn English in the context of international integration. First, we inspire your students to learn English. Then, we spread it to all students and encourage them to learn English together. The school has established and maintained an effective operation of an English club for students, with nearly 60 members at all ages. Every Monday morning, I'm very excited when performing the bilingual national anthem. English, Vietnamese with my teachers. I'm also very happy. For primary school students, English is a new subject, so creating a joyful and comfortable atmosphere for students to approach and study is essential. From these primary schools, each student will be more confident to speak English and then integrate into the world. In many localities of Thái Nguyên Parvis, the self-governing groups have a broad positive effect to the community, not only contributing to preserving the green, green, beautiful landscape, raising the awareness of environmental protection for the community, but also contributing to building a civilized lifestyle. There are more and more self-governing roads in the models near rural communes of Thanh Cương. The roads not only beautifying the rural landscapes, but also raising people's awareness in environmental protection. We have mobilized people to carry out campaigns to build a new rural areas, and people have understood their responsibilities and right to participate in this activity. Previously, the roads in Quang Chung was, was not paved often becoming a place of gabious collection. However, since the self-governing rules, models were implemented, local people have contributed to buildings and renovating a green road. 
In the coming times, we will continue to paint pictures on the world, mobilizing people to put their best in right places. The model of South Governance Rules is being widely deployed in localities of Taiwan province. With many good ways, South Governing Rules of the Grad Rules has contributed to positive changes in the consensus of local people. As a result, the rural areas have been improved, contributing to preserving environmental sanitation that is always green, clean, beautiful, and safe. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and see you next time.